Emmett Smith said, all are created equal. Some work harder in preseason. I'm going to say it again because you might have missed it. Some work harder in preseason. It was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. Came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. He had him held down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He said, I wanted to breathe. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. I never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50, and 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? He said, sleep, sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. He said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Somebody came in my office the other day crying. I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. The problem is you ain't never felt no pain before, you're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft always want to give up. I'm dropping. Why are you dropping? Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have heart. That's number one. Watch number two. The most important thing is this. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful.